Good morning, welcome back. Today we're just gonna do a real quick update on this 1988 Fender Princeton Chorus 2x10. Uh, if you guys look at my previous videos, this project's been taking me quite a while because of time. Um, I, this is a hobby for me, so it's not important. So this has sat around, taken apart for quite a while. Um, I stripped it down and re-tolexed it with this cloth here. Um, recovered the speaker grill with the wheat colored uh, speaker grill cloth. And I finally got the two input jacks replaced uh, with OEM Fender input jacks. They were a real bear to get out. Each one had nine legs on it and I had a lot to uh, screw around with trying to get all that desoldered and out without screwing up the printed circuit board. Uh, the, way I re the way I received this amp was these were busted off so it didn't uh, work. You could turn it on but you couldn't get any sound out of it. And when I took it apart, I realized that the speakers were garbage too so this one is just the voice coil is locked in there solid so it got too hot they must have really had it cranked up this one still works it worked enough for me to test the amp before i bolted it in i hooked up the speakers or speaker wires you know individually obviously one at a time to this and tested input one and two to make sure that uh, everything worked before I took the time to put all that back in there. So this is just about done. I ordered a couple Celestian speakers for it and they should be here Monday. So we will get those put back in and up and running here as soon as they show up. Uh, I did put the original foot pedal back in it because everything else on it is pretty much original. I was going to change the reverb tank on it and I wanted to put a really big one in there with three springs. However, everything that I've read about it said there's a lot to consider and you have to match it with the amp and blah, blah, blah. So I figured, you know what, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm going to just leave that reverb tank back in there. Uh, I do have to screw down this little holder and the tank itself because I don't know what I did with the screws. Those are the only four screws I lost through the process, so I think I'm doing pretty good. But um, everything works really good now. Uh, I can't wait to hear what it sounds like uh, with the new Celestian speakers in it. And once that is done, this will be for sale up on Reverb. So if you guys are interested in this, it is a 1988 Princeton Chorus 2x10 uh, solid state amp. It has the original foot pedal original reverb tank, original amp, the speakers, and the Tolex, and a grill cloth. So the cosmetic part of it is not OEM, and the speakers will not be OEM. But the speakers will be better than what came in it originally. So I'm um, anxious to see how that turns out. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will finish this up here very shortly. Oh, one more thing. If... Uh, anybody is interested there is a guitar fest guitar show down at the summit county fairgrounds on sunday september 19th from 10 a.m to 6 p.m so if anybody is interested in going to a guitar show uh, go check it out again uh, sunday 19th 10 to 6 and over here it says uh saturday september 18th at 7 p.m looks like uh this girl is going to be performing i don't know anything about them or nothing but this is the only thing i'm interested in is the guitar show so if you guys are interested show up down there i'm going to go down there and take a look and see if there's any good deals to be had so again don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned until next time